Hey, this is Justin from Live TD. We are on a Carbonite today, version 13, and I'm going to be walking through building a wipe transition using an expression spot box. We're going to be recording the macro using both the panel and dashboard based on what makes the most sense to build quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our custom control menu. And on the panel, we are going to go into custom control and I'm going to pick a button to record on and then I'm going to hit start recording. We'll see that pop up there in dashboard. So um, our first step is going to be to prepare our key to regardless of what state it's in before the button press, before the, the custom control execution to be exactly what it needs to be. So we want it to be uh, key four needs to be auto selected. It needs to have spot box in it. And then lastly, we want to turn it on. So to activate the keyer with the most correct parameters, I'm going to go to special, keyer active. I'm going to choose ME2, keyer 4, and the value is going to be on. So I'll show you now. We've got a good step there. If I had used the button press on the panel, it would have brought up this um, key for auto. And what that does is it is a toggle, much like the Grass Valley Calypso, where you are only changing the state of the keyer, but you're not specifying whether the key is on or off. So if I run this macro or this custom control uh, without a cut on air parameter, it's just going to toggle. It's going to turn it off or turn it on, but it's not going to be a, a solid state. So that's what we want. We want the key to always come on at the beginning of this transition. So I'm going to delete this event and we're going to move into actually firing the uh, spot box transition from our expression. So for that, we're going to go to devices. We're going to go to expression. And we're going to use a take three. The take three allows us to take a specific take ID, regardless of where the expression sequencer is on the screen. And our channel and layer um, parameters will override whatever that take ID has set. Um, in the expression project file itself. itself. So for our SEC transition, we're going to be in uh, 9162. So I will program that here. Oh, come on, buddy. 962, enter. There we go. We're going to, just going to use channel one. I'm on an expression go today with a single output. And then layer zero is just fine uh, for a video transition. Next, we are going to time out our uh, transition so that we hit the cut point as the transition is full screen. So we just need a pause here. We're going to go special, pause, and our first pause is going to be 30 frames. So I'll hit append, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and cut the ME under. All I have to do is hit the cut button on our panel, and that gives us a valid parameter. And then lastly, we're going to go back to our 30 frame pause. We need another 25 frames after this cut. What's really nice about this dashboard custom control edit menu is that I can just go to another one, another step in the event list. I can change my parameter and hit the append button. And now I've got the same parameter without having to navigate back through the menus. So we have 25 frames after our cut to pause. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off air. So we already have this event in the event list. So we can just double click it. We're going to change the parameter to off to turn that keyer off. And then we are going to append the off command to the end of this list. So um, we're going to stop recording to make sure that we get out of our record menu. We're going to get out of our CC menu if you're still in it. On the panel, I'm going to go to my new transition that I've built and I'm going to hit it. And there you go. So the transition is running. It's firing on expression. Our keyer is out. Um, even if I start it on and I hit the transition, it turned it off and then it turned it back on again. So it, it or it left it on, um, excuse me, it left it on. Let's hit it one more time to see it, leave it on. Yep. So regardless of the state, it's adjusting to you and the transition is working as expected. So that's it.